Hey there, this is Tammy Ramsey. Welcome to my wine blog. Uh, I have got a ton of emails about how to open champagne, how to pour champagne, and how to chill it. And I thought today is Friday, feels like a good day to celebrate, and um, I would show you a little bit about the um, how to open this. I'm going to move the camera, so if this looks a little crazy, my bad, but I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, first thing you need to have is you need a towel, you need a bottle of bubbles, you need a glass, and you're going to maybe need a bucket if, if you so choose. First thing you're going to see is uh, this has a capsule of foil all the way around it, and I didn't have this out before, but you're going to uh, open, up the, open up the foil so you can get to the cage. The cage is this metal part that we all know about. All right, let me pull that all back. Okay, can you see this? This is the cage part, all right? And this is what holds it down. Here's what to do. You want to put your cloth right over the top. Then you're gonna to wanna to unscrew. One, two, three, four, five times is how many times that they twist this. Loosen up that cage a little bit so it'll come off there easily. Then I keep the, the hand over the cork with the cloth and I pull the cage and this little topper off. Keeping that over. I'm going to turn the bottle to a about two o'clock on the clock. I'm going to hold the cork and I'm going to move the bottle. And you do it in a slow, slow way. Oh, and I was gonna say, it shouldn't make very much noise at all, but that made kind of a celebratory pop sound, which nothing wrong with that. It's said that if you open a bottle of wine or champagne correctly, it should just make a, a nice little gasp, but you know how that goes. So here's how to pour. Turn your glass on a 45, tip the bottle slowly into it, let it run down, no need to be in a hurry. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, the reason why you want fluted glasses, this is a fluted glass, it's gonna contain those bubbles. The smaller and the more rapid the bubbles are, the better caliber of champagne or sparkling wine that it is. Difference between champagne and sparkling wine, Champagne is uh, supposed to be labeled champagne if it only comes from Champagne, France. Sparkling wine is what they call most everything that's made anywhere else in the world that is a not still wine, that you know has carbon dioxide in it, and um, they like to call that sparkling wine. Or in the states they do, uh, you know, in different countries they have Prosecco in Italy and they have uh, Cava out of Spain, and all of those are excellent. But kind of wanted to show you how to pour yourself a glass of it without having a big foamy head and. And it does make a difference, the quality of champagne or bubbles that you have. I happen to be drinking a Brut today. Brut means it's the driest, and I really enjoy that. Um, someday we'll go into all the different categories of wine sweetness or champagne sweetness, but not today. All right, I have a champagne bucket. The only thing you need to do is put a little ice in it, pop your bottle in it, and then pour a little water in there. The icy cold water will keep the champagne uh, you know, it'll keep it nice and chilled while you, while you enjoy it uh, with your friends and family or by yourself. If by chance you are going to uh, not consume this very quickly, go get yourself one of these. I know it looks crazy. A little stopper, a little round stopper on the end. Just pop that in there, close that up. Can you see that? Just pop it in there and close it up. It will kind of contain some of the carbon dioxide and uh, keep the uh, bubbles free flowing, but I think this ice bucket cost about six bucks. Uh, the little thing on the top was $1.99. This uh, Robert Mondavi Woodbridge Sparkling was uh, $7. And of course I have a terribly expensive glass from Tiffany that I always drink out of. But um, everything feels like a celebration when you're drinking bubbles. So I would encourage you to go out and buy a little bit of sparkling wine or champagne this weekend and let yourself celebrate. I hope you learned a little today. I know I'm going to have at fantastic afternoon consuming this champagne. See you next week. I will be in Napa starting next week, so I look forward to posting then. Take care.